Are you tired of hitting that ball into the net? In this video, CJ and I are gonna show you a technique that you can start using today to stop hitting so many balls into the net. I have the good fortune today of having my good friend and top coach, CJ Johnson, that you may know from the Better Pickleball channel as well as We Are Pickleball. And CJ is gonna help us discuss one of the biggest errors that players make Coach, what's one of the biggest errors that people complain about all the time, but they can control? I know, they keep trying to challenge the best player in pickleball. And no, it's not Ben Johns. The it's net, the folks. Net. Yep. The net is 100% unbeatable. And so, Coach, what I'd like to do is share with the players out there the concept that we, we've been talking about with our students, which is that clock technique, right? So what we're going to do is, Coach CJ and I are going to show you the clock technique and how you can use it to stay away from this net. The way to use the clock technique is first thing you got to do is you got to think of this ball as a clock as it has, you know, 12 all the way back around to 12 again. And what happens a lot of times is pickleball players do what, Coach CJ? What are they, where are they hitting the balls? They're hitting the ball at 3 and over at 9. 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock, folks. What happens then is you're risking the net because you got to brush up on that ball. What we're going to show you here is to hit the ball around 4.30 and 7.30. That'll give the ball the loft that it needs to get over this net. Avoid the net, folks, and you're going to play better pickleball. Coach CJ and I are going to show you some dinks. First, I'm going to dink the ball at that 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock, you know, that basically that flat dink or that straight dink. And what you're going to see is how the ball is going to travel. Right? It barely clears the net, right, because I'm hitting the balls at 9 or 3, and Coach CJ is doing the same thing. So we're hitting the balls like that. You can see those balls are staying low and like a line drive. Let's see what it looks like when we go to that 4.30, 7.30 approach and see how the ball will go up and down over the net. It'll go up and down over the net. So you can see how these balls are traveling in an upward arc and clearing that net nice and calmly on these things. And what we're doing is by hitting it that way, Coach CJ and I are both not risking the best player in pickleball. Now, Coach Tony, one of the questions we get asked a lot, and it's a big misconception around pickleball, is, gee, I cannot hit a dink that high because I'm going to get attacked with the shot. That is such a common misconception. And you know we've said it a thousand times more. You can watch the best players in the world play, the pros play. Their balls are nice and high over the net because they don't mess with the net. But I'll show you as an example. This is a Franklin X40, regular Florida conditions here. If I hold the ball up this high and let it bounce, it doesn't clear the net, folks. From this high, it doesn't clear the net. And no one is saying to dink it that high. So hide over the net is not what's hurting your game. If you want to make 2023 your best pickleball year, Think of the ball like a clock and start hitting the shots 4.30 and 7.30. Definitely help your games. And if you want to know what's really ailing your game, height, depth, everything else, it's all inside the pickleball system. I'm going to put a link below. Join us for the next class and you'll really change your game. Meanwhile, check out this playlist of CJ's best videos and keep working at it.